All right, this is going to be a little awkward. I've actually just turned the camera around to face my computer screen. So today we're going to be talking about the training, and more specifically, the private training that we offer. A lot of people think that it's just sitting on a bench or standing in one of the pistol uh, range lanes, but it's actually more than that because we can teach you um, the different stances, different positions, as in prone, kneeling, sitting, uh, standing, along with running different drills. So what you need to do is on our website you go to training and you go down to private lessons. Up will come the private lessons at Blue Trail Range. You scroll down and you can shoot us a message or you can sign up today. So if you sign up today, it's going to bring it right back down here anyways. So, so what you can do is type in that, type in that, your email, which would be this at whatever dot com phone number and this is the important part in the comments section right here you put in I would wish to do carving drills Or you could put uh, learn to shoot a millimeter. Or you could do shooters. So if you put first time shooter, then we know what we're getting. And of course, whatever you put, it, please make it detailed so when we schedule we know who to schedule it with because a lot of the instructors they all have their own special skills you put in here that you you want to do shotguns on the skeet range i am not your instructor i know nothing about it so of course then you have to click i'm not a robot and then hit submit and it'll go off and it goes to the person who actually schedules all of our private lessons hey everyone all right so we're down at the private range and uh we're gonna, we're gonna, eh, Suzanne here volunteered to be our guinea pig when it comes to doing the private lesson. So we're gonna be working with others and we're gonna work on some of the five basic drills that you're able to do if you're doing a private lesson. You don't have to sit at the bench. You, you can opt to say, well, I wanna work on drills and we'll bring you down to the private range and then we'll work on the drills. So we're just gonna work on the five basic ones. I'm sure everyone's seen them before. There's nothing new. I'm gonna explain them, and then she's gonna perform them. So, you're gonna have the option to use this one with the low powered variable optic, or Suzanne, could you show them the one you opted to use? So she opted to use my personal one that has a reflex sight on it and the sling. It was easier for her to acquire the target with both eyes open with speed and accuracy versus this one, even at one power, you still have the eye box you had to get in just right she was adjusting and it really dwindled the speed down and what we're looking for is speed all right so let's start with the drills all right so i'm going to be moving out of the way because i don't want to get hit with brass like i normally do all right suzanne here's your magazine you got 10 on top 10 on the bottom all right these are the cross mags which are really popular to use since connecticut is a uh, 10 round limit state this will afford us the opportunity to stay and shoot a little longer and not have to go reload. Okay? Here's your magazine. All right. So the first drill we're going to work on is, Suzanne, you're going to bring the carbine up. You're going to unsafe it, and you're going to take one shot at the target, safe it, and then we'll come down. And this is just for you to learn and get used to the motor skills of as you're coming up, safety's off, fire, safety on. Okay, that, that's just repetition. Military, we do this thousands of times a day, days, 
days and days. So it's just so you know, you, you build that habit of flicking it on and off as I'm, I'm moving my hand around like a knucklehead. So you're gonna come up and it's just about speed, okay? I don't really care where you hit as long as you're hitting the target somewhere. It doesn't matter if it's off to the right, off to the left, a little higher, a little low. We're just going about speed. So come up, fire, safe it. Make sense? All right, normally we'd use a shot timer, but I'm just gonna tell you to go since we're making a video. Okay, when you're ready, set, go. All right, so not bad. You hit the target perfectly. This time I want you to go really fast. All right, so you come up, fire, and then safe it. It's about speed. Okay, are you ready? Only start when I say go. Ready, go. Not bad. So you hit just above where you hit originally. Okay, so you can see we moved the camera for a different angle. This time though, instead of doing the single drill, Suzanne, I want you to come up and do what we call a hammered pair or a double tap. All right, so this is progression. Once you get used to that up, one shot, safe, down. Then we move on to up, tap, tap, safe, down. Now it's not bang, bang, what you were doing when we were practicing. I want you to come up and as fast as you can, bang, bang. As soon as you get that first round off, you want to pop it again. It's going to spread out. It's okay as long as both are on that target. Copy? You tracking? You good? All right. Shooter ready. And... Not bad, so both shots are really close together and uh, they are stacked. That is good, but they hit a little off to the right, which is fine. That's still someone's chest area. All right, it's not a big deal, but it's a good group. So you should be happy. Don't look at me like that. You volunteered for this. All right, so now that we have the fundamental down, of up in one shot and then up double tap or a hammered pair so now we're going to move on to the third one which is the hammered pair really quick right off the gate and then you're going to concentrate and aim for the dome so this is also a failure drill a as in your hammered pair to the chest fails to put down your target so two to the chest and then she moves up to the head and for this I took one of the targets folded it in half and stapled it to the top of the frame boards so she can get a nice clear head shot and it's about the size of about my chest and my head so we'll go there she probably wants to shoot her instructor anyways right now okay. all right so we've learned the fundamentals of the first two drills right up shoot and then up shoot shoot doing the hammered pair this time we're gonna do the third drill, which is a hammered pair, and then we're moving up to aim at what would be the target's head area. So Suzanne here, when she's ready, she's gonna come up and right out of the gate, real fast, bang, bang, and then move up and take a little bit longer to make sure she's in the right spot and shoot that one round, and then she's golden. All right, shoot her ready. Go. Not that bad. So she got two to the chest and one dead center of what we made the, the head of the target. How do you feel with that drill? Good. Now the more you do this drill, the faster you get. So granted, she looks a little slow on camera. This is the first time she's ever ran the drill. The more she runs these drills, the better she gets, the faster she gets right out the gate. Because it's about speed, that, that hammered pair, right out the gate, bang, bang and then aim to the head and go. <laughs> okay, the fourth drill that I like to do, it's another basic drill, is it's called a zipper drill. And you can have any combination of bullets. You can do three and one, two and one. Well, we just did two and one, but you do three, one, four and one. I like four and then one. So all she's gonna do 
is when she goes, she's gonna put four straight up vertically, and on the fifth one, she's gonna put it at the top of the target, so you the hope. the head area. You hope. We hope. <laughs> Shooter ready. Our four to the chest, one to the head. Shooter ready. Yes. Go. Not bad, a little slow on that first take up, but again, it's her first time running the drill and it's better to be slow than sloppy. So you, you might've seen, I jumped back. That's cause I heard the wind blow and the camera moved a little bit and I didn't want the camera to tumble down again. That's, shh, don't tell anyone. Go student, woo! Thing is we've already videotaped this one, right? So this is technically take two. Well, it's gonna be take two, but Suzanne's gonna try the zipper drill one more time. See if she can get a little faster. All right, shooter ready. She's getting frustrated with me. Shooter ready. <laughs> yes. You gotta have the gun down. Part of the drill is coming up. Shooter ready. Yes. Go. faster all she has to work on now is after doing the the first four shots as fast as she can is getting that fifth shot off relatively quickly since whatever you're shooting at is not going to pretty much stand there waiting for that fifth shot so but uh, over time speed will come we start with the basics so being slow is okay all right so the next drill is the fifth drill. And this is if you're engaging two paper targets. So she's got two targets, which you can see they're already set up. And she walked out of frame. But anyways. So she's going to fire two to the right target, two to the left target, one to the left target's head, and then one to the right target's head. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sense? Does it make sense, shooter? Yes, it does. Okay. So again, a little slow outside on the first time. Not a big deal. The more you do it, the better you get and the faster you get at it. All right. So get on the line. So remember, <clears throat> shooter, two, two, one, one. Safe. Okay, so right out of the gate, as fast as you can, up, oh, two, two. Well, two, two. <laughs> right, off, right off the bat, you're gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sense? Yes, it does. All right, and I was completely blocking you in camera. That's good. <laughs> so, shooter ready? Yes. Go. Yep, that won't work. I'm out. Oh, she's out. <laughs> now, normally we do a speed reload, but she's not going to do that because that's not part of the lesson. So I'm going to cut it and we'll come right back. Okay, now we're really going to do the drill because we have enough ammo in the magazine to do that. Oh, okay, shooter ready. Yes. Go. Not bad. Okay, this time we're gonna go a little faster. So, as soon as I say go, one, two, one, two, one, one. All right, we're just gonna speed up the process. We hope. We hope. This is gonna be the third time you're doing it, so we're not expecting, you know, one, two, one, two, one, one. We're expecting up, bang, 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 bang. You got this. You're good. Like I said, it's not about super accurate. You're just trying to hit the main parts of the targets. So 
I mean, when you did these, yeah, you hit low, but you're you're at the belt buckle area, so they're both of them are technically gut shots, which are painful. Even the spread is fine. So whether you're hitting here and here, or here and here, or you, you put them real close together, it doesn't matter. You're tr it's a race. Who's going to win? The one that gets up the fastest and gets going. So it's not, well, I'm going to aim. This is, oh my god, pop, pop. It's just that quick. And then you take your time to aim for the, uh, the smaller target. Are you ready, shooter? Yes. Truth is, I broke the shot timer. Shh. Shooter ready. Yes. Go. And we're out. <laughs> Somebody's not counting their rounds. I'm a horrible instructor. I'm making a load our own magazines. <laughs> All right, shooter ready? Yes. Go. Faster and just as accurate. So those are your five basic carbine drills. Uh, in Connecticut, we'd use them for another. So you can take a private lesson, come down here. We might not be able to fit all five drills into the half hour session, but we can do at least one and you build. So you get used to the first one and then we build for the second and the third. You just have to make sure you specify that you want to work on carbine drills or other in quotes drills this way we understand that you want to use an other and again whether it's going to be the shop other which is a flat dark earth with a low powered variable optic or most likely i'll be running the the training session and i'll have of course mine with me that has the reflex sight on it for a quicker acquisition keeping both eyes open so depends on what you want Mine has the sling, so it's a little easier, as you can see. She's just standing there with it slung across her. She's not having to hold it because it does get heavy. Suzanne, did you learn anything? I did. Do you feel comfortable now shooting these drills on your own? Yes, I do. Would you come back for another private lesson? Yes. I did not pay her to say that. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Come on now. You feel good? Yes. All right, so we're going to go finish up what little rounds we have. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys on the trail. Okay, so you guys just watched an actual private lesson today. And I know the camera really wasn't pointed at the targets too, too much. Uh, but just to give you an idea, the drills we we're running, that's how they did. Suzanne kept it right in here, even though it was a drill about speed. Uh, I, I told her I wasn't too worried about the accuracy as long as she was hitting the paper. Um, because specifically, where she was shooting, it's the size of a torso. And the drills she wanted to run were the drills to be proficient at defense with uh, a kinetic other, since she has one. And she just wants to be more proficient with it. So there's five basic drills that we do. Those were the drills. You can run those drills if you're part of a different club or if you live somewhere where you're able to actually shoot like that. Here at this range, the only way you're going to shoot like that is if you take a private lesson or, this is important, or because I'm a big proponent of training. You don't have to come to us. You can go to one of the many training companies that are out in the state of Connecticut. Just to name a few, uh, Black Sheep. They're phenomenal. Greg, one of their instructors, uh, retired Navy SEAL. You're going to learn from the best. 
Patriot Performance. Frank is a friend of mine. Um, he knows his stuff. He does drills. Very competent at shooting. Uh, he worked in law enforcement. Can't go wrong. In fact, I'm going to link descriptions in the bottom of this so you can go directly there. Don't call us and try and book for them. They they just come here to shoot. We just host. You want to book one of their classes? It's going to be on their website. Again, in the description below. Uh, I, myself, will be in their October 10th class filming. Uh, so stay tuned for that, which they already know about, and they're real eager to... Uh, to get it. And that, that'll be Black Sheep that I'm filming with. Uh, I haven't hit up Frank yet to, to film in one of his classes, but maybe I will here shortly. Uh, we'll see. So, also, it, in the past few videos, I've been sticking it in there at the very top of the description uh, a link for our t shirts. It's only one shirt right now. Uh, we're working on some more designs, and the proceeds for these shirts go directly to fund this channel so we can get new guns obviously ammunition uh, and some new cool interesting gear to review and play with and let you guys know how it is so please go buy a shirt so soon i'll be getting mine and obviously i'll do a video wearing it and you'll be able to see it but if you click on the link it'll take you straight there and you can see the back of the shirt the front of the shirt obviously is the Blue Trail Range logo, and the back of the shirt has a nice, nice little phrase on there. So, all right. See you guys later. That's all I got for you.